What's going on guys? My name is Adamus. Welcome back to another GTA 5 mods video. Today we're going to be checking out a new car that I've added to the game. Truck. Sorry, it is a truck. A new truck that I have added to the game. It's going to be super, super sick to check out. Now, it's a truck that I've wanted to feature in this game for quite a while, but I could never really find a good enough mod, like high quality mod, if you will, up until now. Up until yesterday. I found the best mod that literally features this truck in its in all of its glory it is so detailed it is absolutely insane i made sure that this game was able to handle the actual vehicle itself so we're going to be checking that out today if you guys do want to see more of these uh, gta car mods subscribe for your new turn on post notifications all that jazz in the last video for car mods we did do this thing the hummer suv electric one this thing is an absolute beast absolute rocket ship the only thing that it doesn't do well is off-roading, which is kind of funny because that's what it was made for. But going up the Mount Chiliad Trail, it was able to complete it, but it didn't do as well as I thought it would. Literally, the Jeep Cherokee did a lot better than this thing, and I thought this thing would have done a lot better than, you know, previous vehicles. All right, so as per usual, they dropped it off over here at the Del Perro Pier. So we got to go over there. We got to check it out. Bro, there's just a casual Bugatti just freaking driving up around here. That's crazy. That's kind of cool. All right, here's the truck, guys. How do you like it? Look at that thing. I guess we can park this Hummer next to it, sort of next to it, because we are going to do a walk around of the of the truck. So, all right. Look at this TRX. Like I said, this is a highly detailed edition of this vehicle in the game, and I was able to find it, and it looks absolutely remarkable. The amount of detail on this truck is so good like it's mind-blowing to me so they left it here for us to test drive it we're going to do our review of it see if this thing can do the chiliad uh trail see if we can go up the chiliad mountain um but yeah that's what we're going to be doing what does it sound like okay sounds like a v8 bro look how much it like the torque like moves the truck that's crazy all right so really quick i did you know i didn't know we could do this before right until like i was like oh messing with the mods but apparently, I can do this and this. Like, oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. Go over here to doors and do all. There, right? And then from here, literally all I have to do now is just look, man. I can literally look at everything from here. Like I said, it's detailed. Oh, it's a little scratch right there. It's fine. Don't even worry about it. Like I said, it's detailed. So let's hop in like we're, we're a passenger, right? Like right here. Look at that. TRX right there. Then you have all the radio controls. You even have the TRX badge right there in the center console, which looks super, super sick. You also have carbon fiber right here, carbon fiber paneling right here. And look at how detailed it is. Look at that. Like, you can see the carbon. It's crazy. Even the seats are detailed. Look at all the little individual little um, holes and stuff on the seats. Like, you can even see the stitching, dude. It's so crazy. Like, right there, the red stitching. That's absolutely insane. Seatbelt right there, a little seatbelt action. All right, let's come over here. Watch. Look at this. Look, look how detailed this is. You can see all of the freaking lettering. Like, a lot of cars in this game that come as mods, you cannot see, like, all of this detail. The guy who made this is an absolute beast at what he does. And you can even see the freaking serial number to the truck, which is kind of crazy. Look at that. Right there. Like, that, that's the VIN number to the truck. Like, you're not supposed to show that. At least, I don't think you are. But... I'm showing it because it's already on here. The seats, again, super detailed. Even, okay, look, I think on the door panel, if I can see it. Like, you can even see on the plastics, like the little, like the like the grain of the plastic. You can see the grain of the plastics right here on the plastic. And I think that's pretty freaking detailed nonetheless. Hopping into the driver's seat, you do have RAM right here on the bottom. Hopping into the driver's seat, though, we do have our steering wheel, which looks pretty sick. Like I said, you do have your gear shift lever here. All the details, all the mirrors are working. Uh, we got Michael right there on the on the, on the side. Um, but look at this, dude. Everything works. It's so, like, cool. Look at the gauge. Gauge cluster. Like, you can't, right? Explain to me another mod that you have seen that has this amount of detail. It's absolutely insane. I can read everything that's on this, like, cluster. And it's crazy. All right, so we're going to drive our TRX for the first time in this game. We're going to go over to an upgrade shop as well. But before we do that, we do need to go and get some gas. And I did notice that this thing doesn't really turn as well as it should. I don't know why. Like, it does turn very weirdly. But, I mean, in real life, I do feel like this is how it turns. Just because of how heavy the thing is, man. 
This thing is an absolute like monster in terms of weight. Like it weighs a lot. It does slide out quite easily as well. But I mean, it's a TRX, bro. It is a T Get out of the way, man. My god. All right, guys. So we filled it up with gas. We're going to go to the upgrade shop, see what kind of upgrades we can do to this thing. Um initial thoughts on just how it drives coming over here. It's it's quick. It's fast. It is a massive truck that goes 0 to 60 in under 5 seconds for the game. In real life, I think it's 5.3 seconds, 5.2 seconds. It'll go 0 to 60. I think somewhere around there. It's crazy. It's it's fast. It's a fast freaking truck. This thing has 702 horsepower, right? It's a Hellcat engine. It is built to be like a uh, like a pre-runner basically. Has super soft suspension front and rear. So so you can take like jumps and stuff. Why is there so much traffic in this game? Oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. Alright guys, I fixed the problem. I just got rid of all the cars. There's so much traffic in this game right now and I have no idea why. But, I fixed it. I just deleted all the cars because the heck with that. I need time to like run. Or like I need the truck to be able to like go full speed. Bro, we're doing 120 miles an hour right now. That's pretty insane, honestly. Making our way into the upgrade shop with our TRX. This is a 2021 edition TRX as well. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's come over here to armor. Full armor, full brakes, engine, full engine. Doesn't look like we have any bumper mods or anything like that. Let's do xenon lights in the front. Plate, I'll do that. Respray, I like the orange, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Suspension, you could lower it, but I'm gonna leave it you know, all the way up because we're gonna go off-roading in this thing. Let's also turbo it. This thing already has a supercharger on it, so we're just going to throw on a turbo just because. Wheels you could change. I'm not going to change them because I love the stock wheels of the vehicle. And we are going to do light smoke tint. All right, guys. So as it turns out, there's not a lot of upgrades you can do to this. So just engines, engine upgrades, transmission, all the usual turbo stuff, and some brakes, right? That's, that's what we got. Now, we need to do a top speed run with this thing, right? So let's go over to the highway. The highway is literally right here. We're going to do a top speed run in our TRX, and then we're going to go up the mountain Chiliad trail one of the hardest trails in this game to go up we're gonna do a top speed run with our Ram TRX from 2021 now that we have uh, turbos and everything on it I want to say we're pushing 1300 horsepower somewhere around there so just saying see what this thing can do in terms of a top speed run ready three two one and go full launch oh it squats dude 60 already doing 80 already 100 miles an hour all right we're doing 120 we're doing on a full stretch of highway too, so we're doing 150 miles an hour in a TRX, bro. We do not need to be going this fast. Oh wow, look at the inside. That's kind of cool. 175. We could keep going, but I do not want to crash. 180. Can we do 200 in this thing? I don't think so. Oh wow, it is holding that corner. Bro. Okay, relax. We do not need to tell the owners about this, okay? We do not need to tell the owners about this. Everything will be fine, all right? We'll just work our magic really, really quick. There, we're fine. We're golden. The owners do not need to know, ever, ever. I want to see if this thing can actually hit 200 miles an hour. So we're going to do it on the long stretch of road here next to the military base. Oh, come on. That's fine. It's fine. All right, let's go. Full on. We're full throttle. See how fast this thing can go. Honestly, 100, 100, we're doing 181 miles an hour, dude. Come on. Like, oh, we are zooming. 195? Come on. 200. Please. 196, 97, 98, 99. 202 miles an hour. We did 202 miles an hour in a TRX, bro. Come on. That is so freaking fast. This thing is not even made to go 130, right? It's literally limited to 118. All right, guys, we're at the trail, one of the hardest trails in this game, and we're going to try and tackle it with our TRX. We're going to try and do little to no damage with this thing also because, like I said, it is a test vehicle, so we have to do our review on it and then give it back at the end. So, with that being said, we can still take it mudding. We can still take it off-roading. We just got to be very, very careful with it. Initial you know reactions on off-roading it does slide out a bit in the mud which is expected because you know mud is slippery and stuff but i mean it's not that bad all right what i'm worried about is 
if it can actually go up the mountain, right? Because some of the some of the sections of this mountain are like super super hard because it is super steep. So I don't know if this thing is going to be able to tackle those just because of how heavy this thing actually is and gravity is going to be pulling down on this thing like there is no tomorrow. This is like all the easy stuff. This is like the easy stuff, like super hardcore easy. This is nothing compared to what's going to be coming in the near future for this truck. Oh shoot. Oh, it did a little bit of a wheelie. What in the world? That was weird. All right, it, it seems to be doing well. I'm like not even full throttle right now. This is like half. Just because I don't need this thing to be spinning its wheels too much. Uh, honestly, I forgot where to go. Oh, this way. Okay. Try to avoid that rock. There you go. Oh, God. I already flipped it. So, this thing is super, super top heavy. In real life, I don't think it's this top heavy. But it is super top heavy. And I cannot flip it back over. Apparently. Oh, come on. There we go. Got it. Jeez. I flipped it again. Are you kidding me? We need to relax with how this thing handles like little jumps and stuff. It'll flip over like nothing apparently. All right, this is one of the one of the hard sections here. It just keeps flipping over. It doesn't want to stay upright. It really doesn't. It literally just keeps flipping over. Honestly, it's handling this like a champ. Like the Hummer, like suffered going through there for real. All right, we got to move this rock a little bit. It's fine. All right, come on. Here we go. Even if you're just a little off kilter with this truck, it wants to flip over. Ain't no way it's crawling this right now. Alright, I need to like adjust, but... Oh, there we go. Come on. There is no... How? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't, don't want to like lose where I'm at right now. Oh, shoot. Oh, frick. Come on, Ram, flip over, please. I don't think... Wow, the door came off. I don't think we're going to be able to go up this. I thought this truck was going to actually do a lot better than that Hummer did. But, bro, it cannot go up this without flipping over. I guess that's one of the downsides to having a nice quality mod. Oh, maybe. Hold on. Hold on. I spoke too soon. So, it does want to flip over a lot. Trust me, it does. But, jeez, if it can... If it goes up, bro, it'll go up. Like, you see, it just flipped over again. How, dude? How is it flipping over this many times? The trick to do this is to go so slow. You have to crawl. You literally have to crawl everything. You really don't even need to take momentum because this truck has the grip and the power to just go up the mountain, which is absolutely good. Like, look at this. This is barely tapping the throttle right now. Like, for real. All right, let's see if we can go up this super hard part right here. Probably not. It'll flip over. Why does it flip over so easily? It's so annoying. Oh, God. All right. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We will just take the alternative route, right? So we don't flip over and end up at the bottom of the mountain again. Like in the last episode, because that's what happened. All right, let's go up through here. Come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? Why are you going that way? Well, looks like we're going to the bottom of the mountain, bro. Trees stop us. Thank you. All right, come on. Now to go back up again. Not like it was hard the first time. Literally, it'll crawl up the mountain. It's just, it's annoying that this thing just wants to flip over every time. All right, here we go. Like, it, it's doing a wheelie. Like, why? Come on. Catch grip, catch grip. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Jeez, like, this thing is... It has that much power. It just wants to do wheelies every single time. All right, we got to, like, not slip off of this part. Oh, I forget. This thing does wheelies. Relax, relax, relax. I don't think we're going to be able to take this flat on. Nope. All right, that's fine. We'll take it up. Are you kidding me? I decided to fix the vehicle with our magic really quick just because we need it. See if this thing can go up without hitting anything. Come on. 
Like, yeah, it, it just wants to do wheelies. Come on. You got this. You got this, Ram. Just go up. Come on. Come on. Keep the power going. Keep the power going. I'm very impressed that it's still going up the hill right now. Oh, come on. What in the world is this truck, dude? Why is it just going like that? Alright, take it slow, man. Just take it slow. Like, it easily lifts the front end off of the whatever we're on for some reason. I don't know why it does that, but it's it's kind of annoying that it keeps doing that to me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Why does it flip over, bro? You better not go all the way down. Why is it going to go all the way down again, dude? Oh, my God. We're back. Jesus freaking Christ. This thing just likes to flip over every single time. So what I ended up doing is setting the vehicle lowering force to like negative five or five. I don't know what the heck I set it to. So hopefully it doesn't flip over every stupid time. Look, you see how it like just wants to lift that back, that whole backside. It wants to come up off the ground. That's so annoying. All right, here we go. There. We did it. Are you kidding me? We're right there. Just go up. Just go over the thing. There. Oh my god. That was a long freaking process right there. I'm going to lose my mind already. If you guys did enjoy the video though, smack the like button, subscribe for new. And if you liked me getting mad at this truck because it constantly kept flipping over, smash the like button. Let me know in the comments, literally, because I'm so done with this thing. I'm so mad. I'm frustrated to heck with this truck already. It looks good. I love it. The detail is amazing. Handling sucks. The handling is stupid. The handling is like, oh, the truck just wants to go to sleep on its side every single time. That's all it wants to do. And I'm tired of it. Jesus Christ, I'm so done with it. But that is where I'm going to wrap it off. We're trying to make it to 1,200 subs. So subscribe and share with your friends for all that. And if you want to see more of this, like I said before, subscribe for new, turn on post notifications. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.